This week, we're doing Pound Cake by Drake, produced by Boy Wanda, Jordan Evans, and Matthew Burnett. Now, Jordan and Matthew started this track. They found the sample, they put the first round of drums on it, and then they took it over to Boy Wanda where the three of them turned it into the track that we know today. Now, let's go ahead and hear the main sample for the track from the song Don't Say a Word by Ellie Goulding. And that sample sounds pretty damn good as is. I mean, the way she's singing, mixed with all that atmosphere, you know, you've got the reverb and echo built right into the sample. I mean, it's pretty much ready to go, I'm sure. As soon as they heard that, they knew that there was something there. So they just took that, pitched it up one semitone, sped it up a little bit more, an extra 30% or so, and then chopped it up into those four main vocal phrases that you hear in the beat, so you end up with this. And that was all they had to do sample-wise. I mean, with such a great foundation, they just had to sit down and really figure out what else works with the sample. So, let's move on to the drums. When you've got a sample with as much character as this Ellie Golding sample has, you really want it to speak for itself. You don't want to crowd it, you don't want to clutter it, you just want to support it. And that's what these drums do. They're real simple. There's just two drum sounds, the kick and the snare. And they really don't get in the way at all. I mean, there's a ton of space in the pattern for the samples to breathe and for whatever verses are gonna get laid on top of this beat, there's a ton of room for those too. But there's still a lot of energy and a whole lot of impact in this pattern. So here are the drums layered in with the main sample. When it's just the drums and the sample playing, it might sound like there's something missing. That's because there is. Throughout the whole track, there's a real mellow, real low key electric piano being played. It fills out the middle to low end of the track. And what's cool about this piano part is it follows the vocal sample melodically while following the drums rhythmically. And so I'll go ahead and play this piano part on its own for a little bit, and I'll bring in the drums about halfway through so you can see how it lines up with those. That'll cover all the elements to this track, and I'll go ahead and play the finished sequence version in just a minute here, but before I do, I want to remind you, as always, to head over to beatbreakdown.net, where I've got project files for this track, any track I've done in the past, as well as anything coming up in the future, all available for download in Machine, FL Studio, and Ableton file formats, so I highly recommend checking those out. And I also want to remind you, I've been live streaming both here on YouTube and over at Twitch, username Beat Breakdown over there. Um, I'll just be live streaming when I make beats, when I work on these recreations, and then weekly, uh, every Wednesday around 8 central, I'll be doing beat critiques where people send in their tracks, you can send in your tracks over at beatbreakdown.net, and I play them on the stream, tell you what I think, people in the chat tell you what they think, uh, they're a lot of fun, they've been really taking off lately, a lot of people have been there, so if you want your tracks heard, you want to get some feedback, definitely recommend stopping by there. And that should cover everything, so I will see you on the next episode of Beat Breakdown.